Good morning, modern steaders. Look at all that fog back there. It's supposed to burn off and be 70 degrees today. That's the highest we've been so far. Yesterday we got to like 67, I think, for a high. I didn't check on the pigs last night to see where they were sleeping, guys. <laughs> Look at this. They didn't go on their nice comfy tote. You pigs are silly. How's that compost? Oh no! Whoops. Get that picked up. This is the goat's feed. It's alfalfa pellets, and then we put in some black oil sunflower seeds. Then the grains for the pigs. I'm sure that chicken that keeps free range and she'll clean it up over here. Here comes that crazy chicken. What are you doing? You gonna pick up the mess I just made? Do you guys have a good night's sleep? Is that a good spot to sleep? You're nice and warm. Good morning. Yeah, good morning. That crazy chicken scaring you. You're bigger than the chicken. <laughs> now that's what I call breakfast in bed. <laughs> Roll out of bed and your food's right there waiting for you. Oh, they're already spoiled. Who's jumping on the door, huh? Who's at the door? I bet you it's Willow. Yep, it's always Willow. Good morning, Hope. I'm trying to catch that in your mouth, Blossom. Oh, you're silly. Willow, quit being moody. Willow is our oldest goat and she's pregnant right now. I'm guessing she's gonna have three goats. And I'm curious to see what happens to the goat dynamic when she has her babies and we separate her from the herd. Because right now she's the herd boss. Buttercup is her daughter. She's the smallest one other than Hope. And she can be pretty bossy sometimes, but it's more of confidence with her mother around. So. When her mom is not with her, it's going to be interesting to see what happens. Yeah, Hope, it's going to be interesting to see what happens with you and Blossom once Willow has her babies. You are so moody there, Willow. So moody. Oh, Hope, don't let that bother you. That's just how she is. You'll be the head honcho before you know it. Such a good girl. Yeah, you are, I'm telling you. Go back out there, show them who's boss. Don't take that from them. You're a good girl. Your buddy Figaro's over there keeping an eye on you, Hope. He won't let nothing happen to you. Is that breakfast good? Is that good? We're still waiting to pick the name of the pigs. We should be choosing those names any day now. That would be nice to have names for the pigs. You coming, Figaro? Come on. I could not get the ducks to stay inside New York City last night. I hope nothing happened to them. I'd go to lock them up, and they'd come running right back out of the chicken coop. I'd give them the ch chase them around the chicken coop, they'd go up. I'd go to lock the door again, and they'd come running right back out. <sighs> it was crazy, guys. I'm glad to see you guys are still alive and well and kicking. And there's the other barred rock that won't go in at night. Rush hour. The apple trees are starting to leaf out. Look at that. We'll have flowers before you know it. Come on, Pluto. It's amazing how fast we can go from winter 
to spring. <laughs> We're waiting and waiting and waiting and then it pops. Ah. Oh, look at that sun trying to break through the fog. You look like you're dressed for summer. You are? Yeah. It's gonna be summer today? Kind of, I guess. It's gonna be supposed to be like 70. Nice. Yeah, Just walking through the garden like a to. maze. We have to. Love you. Have a good day at band this morning. She left ya. Let's go check on the meat birds, see how they did last night. The meat birds spent their first night in the greenhouse. No heat, no nothing. Awesome. They need some more water, but other than that, they are good. What are you doing, Figaro? We need to check on the tomatoes that we transplanted in the outdoor kitchen. Make sure they're still doing good. For those that are new to the channel, this is our outdoor kitchen. We built it, I think, two summers ago. And we used some eight foot tall patio doors that I took off a house when I was doing construction work. So we got big window there, a big one there, and all the ones on the front. <sighs> Tomatoes are looking good. Those soil blocks are doing really nice. I need to go out and get some more soil so we can transplant some more tomatoes and the peppers. It's too nice today to run out to town. Oh, the sun feels amazing. I'm gonna soak up as much vitamin D today as I can. Oh, Pluto's enjoying it too. What do you girls think? Is this some nice weather or what? Yeah. You girls getting shocked by the fence yet? White chicken. Last fall we cleaned up this old lane. Believe it or not, it was all overgrown with trees and brush. We cleaned it all up. We're gonna gravel it and we're gonna use it as our driveway to get to the new barn that we're building over here. Save this nice maple tree right here. Hoping we could keep it at the end of the lane. But realistically, we need to cut back at least five feet of this rock wall. So we're coming down here with the truck, we have more than enough room to make our swing. And we can use these rocks as fill for the back side of where the barn's gonna be sitting. <sighs> so I gotta cut down that maple tree. I kinda thought I was going to have to when we were cleaning out the lane, but I was hoping we wouldn't have to. Got this really cool looking apple tree behind us. I gotta figure out how to trim it up because there's so many dead branches. This leader is all dead, so that can come down. This branch is dead. This one has been dead for 
I don't know, probably 10 plus years. And uh, this one up here is dead. But well, I'm not gonna cut that one today and sew his way up there, because that one's alive. And all that looks really good. So I wanna trim up this one so we have the dump trucks coming down the lane. They don't gotta worry about hitting that. And then also this one over here, because we gotta get over here with the excavator and get some rocks out. sure how that wood's gonna cut considering it's so dead usually that means it's pretty hard dead that was rotted 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 hopefully that'll help keep the rest of this part of the tree healthy this one's pretty rotted too so that leader probably is so I might want to take that crotch off right there get rid of that and help keep this part of the tree healthy It's a good thing we cut down that leader. Look at how rotted it is in the center there. That didn't have much more life left in it. It's already dirt. It composted in the tree. This one's hollow all the way through. Hmm. Ah, it's 70 degrees out. How do you like that? I like it. Feels good, don't it? Mm -hmm. What are you piglets up to? You need some more water? I bet you probably do. Like it. Yeah, should clean it out and give them some fresh stuff. Yeah, I you didn't like the pig. What are you doing? <laughs> what do you think, well, Tanner? Oh, you gonna give him kisses? Yeah. What do you think? It's like, I don't know. Clean out your water. You got it all dirty and muddy. I know you don't care because you eat dirt, but I care. They say, put our rocks back in the room. I might like that mud hole. Or I might like a mud hole. They do. You like that port on your face? It's crazy. Give him kisses, Tanner. Oh, you give him the piggy kisses. Kissing the pig's Don't nose. There she comes. I gotta catch you tonight and trim your wings there, honey. Got that all picked up. That looks nice. And then I worked some over here and cleaned up over here some more. Oh, yeah. You can tell? You can tell? Yeah. yeah, looks good, huh? Yeah. Get that all cleaned up and hopefully they can start. The site work soon. But look, I can't believe how much room you can gain just by cleaning up yeah. some trees that were overgrown. I mean, they came all the way out to here, the branches. Mm -hmm. And then you've got some wood for the winter. Yep, we got some firewood. Oh, it's drying up nicely in here. I like it. A couple more days there, Will, and you should be having a baby. What's that? It is, huh? You girls must like it too. Need some more water? Yep. Oh, Willow, any day now, huh? Any day now. 
Hope, you're being quiet over there, eating the hay all by yourself. You didn't even come over and say hi to me while I was out there. She's content. In a few days we'll be able to move you. The grass is greening up nicely. <laughs> Look at all them eggs. Nice. Ten, uh, twelve, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, nineteen eggs today. That's quite a few. Good boy. Good girl, Pluto. Hey. That fence is on now. You touch it, you're going to get zapped. I know you know how to do it. So you find like where the stem. Where it wants to break naturally? Yeah. Okay. Like you can either spend it and then it'll break where it, where it breaks. Where it breaks is where it wants to break? Yeah. And that's the good part. The chef has spoken. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna give it a good drizzle of avocado oil. Oh yeah. Even better than good. Some salt. Get my hands in there and give it a good toss. Get the avocado oil over all of it. Yes. And the salt. Yep. You want to grab the sweet potatoes and one regular potato? I want to get off as much of the moisture of it as I can. It'll crisp up the skin better. It's dried off. Then I'm gonna coat the inside with a little bit of onion powder, a little bit of pepper, and salt. I'm gonna do the same thing on the outside. A little bit of pepper. And I'm going to drizzle some melted butter over it. Oh, that looks so good. Stick it in a 350 degree preheated oven. We're going to cook it for an hour and 15 minutes and then we'll check it. I got our potatoes covered in avocado oil. Put a little bit of salt and
He's gonna be. Tanner's not gonna like it when they get the food scraps. Oh yeah. He can't. You don't like the chicken? There goes the crazy white chicken. She wants in on it. That's why she stays over here. Okay. She goes back and forth. Yeah, she can't food from her place. Yeah, she is. Tiana, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think, puppy dog? What do you think? Chicken's crazy. <laughs> she gets right in there. She don't care. Oh, she's bringing her stuff to a different spot. She's like, yeah, let me pick out what I want and I'll save it. You guys are noisy eaters. What are you doing, Hope? Well, I called the company that's going to be doing the site work and bringing in our gravel and told them that I'm ready whenever they are. And they said they're still waiting for them darn road bands to come off the road. <sighs> Spring is here, but the road bands aren't off yet. There is so much new life on the homestead. It is so exciting. <sighs> we'll be moving New York City pretty soon. That grass is starting to green up. I'm going to let it get a little bit longer, and then we'll move them. I hope you guys are having... A blessed spring so far. I hope everything that you want to grow and to establish is starting to set root and take oh, winter. There's always got to be a winter. There's got to be a, I don't want to say dark time, but there's always a time where there's less light and we're growing through those seasons. And then comes springtime and everything wants to go all at once. And here we are. So thanks for coming along on our journey with us, guys, and we'll see you right back here in the next video at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom.